Hey friends, we've got some fun ones coming up here. We're going to build our, our compile mode for our fourth interpreter. Um, I'm not going to lie, this, this compile mode stuff took me a bit to figure out. It took me a couple tries, a couple iterations. Um, it, it looks pretty simple. Whenever we go through it, you'll see it and it, you know, it seems pretty simple, but, um, it took a little bit to figure it out exactly, you know, how I wanted to do it. So, uh, Compile mode is the next exercise. And basically to get into compile mode, you use a colon. To get out of compile mode, you use a semicolon. I don't know why, I guess it's not really a mode. It's, um, if we look at fourth, basically what happens, I'm just gonna get into G fourth here. If we wanna create a word, we say, um, this would be like saying funk in Swift. It's just, we're defining the function or the word basically. And then we name it. Uh, let's say I wanted to make one called Smiley, and then if I wanted to, um, I can't remember the word. There's a word you can use in G4 to print, you know, right, right to the console basically, and I can write a smiley face to the console using that word, and and then you end the definition with that, and you hit enter, and it stores it in the dictionary. And then you can call it by, you know, I would call it just by saying smiley. So that's how, that's basically how it works. Oops. So let's, uh, let me get into our program here. The first thing we need to do is up at the very top underneath this int stack variable, we need another global variable. Variable. It's going to be, uh, we need two actually. We need our compile flag. This is going to tell, uh, tell us basically, you know, when we're in compile mode and when we're not. So we got our compile flag and you're in compile mode from the, as soon as this goes on and until you see, until the interpreter sees the semicolon. And that means, you know, anything inside of that is going to belong to that definition, that, that one word definition. Variable compiled words and this is just going to be a string just making it really simple um not even doing an array or anything i, I don't think maybe later but right now it, it's just very simple just string and uh, we're going to just delimit them here as, you, as you'll see in a minute okay now we want to go back to our process input function so that's on line 20 and we need to add a little bit to our for loop here. So we have for input in input array. And now we need a if that checks if the compile flag is set to true. If it is, then we're in compile mode, right? So then we want uh, to check input if the input is, and I'm just putting this in here just so we can check kind of see things as we go. This isn't really a fourth uh, standard type thing. Uh, it's just print compiled words. So it's just gonna print that string. Uh, oops, I don't need that. Okay. Else if input equals uh, semicolon. Semicolon is what knocks us back out of compile mode and back just into interpreter mode. So we're gonna say end compile. This is a function that we're gonna create and we're gonna do one more. And this is, um, oh, uh, just an else. So anything else, we just want it to compile. This is another function we're gonna create. In this function, we wanna pass the input into the compile function so that we can add it to our compiled word string. Okay, so we got our end compile, and then down a little bit further where we're doing our normal dictionary processing, this is where we want to watch for the, um, put another else if here, we want to watch for that colon definition. So, so if it sees that colon, then we're going to do start compile, which is just going to be another function. These are very simple functions that we're going to be putting in. I just... I just did it like that just to keep things kind of nicer. Um, and then also just uh, 
once again, for the sake of being able to kind of watch things, we're just going to add this compiler word again. And it just prints compiled words. Do a else if input equals semicolon. We want to just kind of catch this, right? So if, if you accidentally put in semicolon, we're just going to say not in compile node because this is, right? So this is if compile flag equals true, and we do this stuff. Um, oh, we got to put our else in here, huh? Else. So this is on that compile flag equals true, else, and we're going to put everything else in there. Sorry about that. I think that's it. Okay. Else. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's just do one more. Else if compiled words uh, contains, this is our delimiter, plus input. So this is a way that we can check to uh, just see if, if a specific word is in our compiled words string. So print exists indict. And I'll, I'll explain this here in a little bit. Now let's go to the bottom here and add our functions. We need func start compile. And that's, uh, we're just gonna set the compile flag equal to true. And compiled words dot append. We're just gonna put that uh, at the, in the whatever space at the end of the compiled word string. So each time a new compiled word is added, it'll be separated. Then we need function compile, and that takes some input, right? And that's a, oops, that's gonna be a string. And our compile function uh, just takes the input and appends it with a space in front to the compiled words string. Because when we have some input in here, let's say we have something like that, I don't know. And so uh, when, we, when we get this as input, it's gonna go into our input array and these spaces are gonna be removed basically. Uh, so we need to just re-add them uh, whenever, you know, for our compiled string. Okay, and then func end compile. And that one is just setting compile flag to false. And compiled, uh, let's just, just to get this stuff in a more logical order. I don't, this doesn't really matter, but, um, we're just going to put another delimiter there. This is just going to make it really easy. I'm just going to, we're going to have this stuff all, all our words are going to be separated by these crazy delimiters. But I think when we get into uh, actually running words from our compiled words list, it's going to be easier to, to go through there, through that string um, and just, you know, divvy things up by the, by the uh, delimiters there since they're so obvious. So. Okay, I think that's puts us in a good spot here. Let's let's give it a run. Okay. Compile flag. Why did I append compile flag? That's not right. Compiled words. Okay. Okay, that was an easy error. Let's see if we can. All right. So we're working now. Let's uh, let's test things out. So let's just test our stack normally first. So we should see 10, 50, 52 on our stack. That's good. Let's um, let's pop one off the top. Okay, so now we 10 and 50. Now let's switch into compile mode. Okay, we should be in compile mode now. So anything we put down is going to be uh, added to our compiled word string, and it's going to keep getting added. Blah 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 until we give it the semicolon. 
and let's just do something funky here 40 high and then semicolon all right so let's take a look at our compiled words which is this that compiler okay so now we see it added the <clears throat> delimiter there and the delimiter there for us and there's all our words it doesn't you know it didn't care that we hit enter in between or have returns in between all it cares about is is whether there's a space or any some kind of break in between each one um, but it, it added all these to the same word which is good this word's name would be 70 which is unusual but that's what it would be here i don't know if you can name words numbers actually but um, that's what it'd be in this case so let's let's add something else um, well, let's see, let me see what, so let's, let's put in 70 and see if it says, no, it's an integer, so put it on our stack. Let's make a compiled word that, with an actual name, so test, um, and then two, four, plus, plus, blah. Okay. Test. Exist and dict. Good. So that was a, an easy way to tell that. That's cool. If we go to compiler, we should see, yeah, we see both our words in there, 70 and test. And if we see show, we, okay, we have 70 on our stack. Oh, that was because I because of this right here. Yeah, so, so everything looks like it's working normal. So that's good. I think that's a good place to end it now. And uh, we'll continue with the compiling stuff. We have to... Uh, we have to do something next, right? With our compiled words, we have to make them run and make them, them work. So thanks for watching and peace out.